Dana Abercrombie, The Coalition, thank you so much for speaking to me. Oh, oh Donna, I just want to hug Donna so much. <laughs> she has been through so much. I'm team Donna all the way through and through. So what I want to talk about is Donna was right. And there's that mixed emotion of being right, but sadly also being right. So I want to know, where do you feel is next for Donna? She has kicked them out of the colony house. Does she feel that it is now her responsibility to probably take over the town as Boyd did? Because people are not believing in him. I'm not believing in him. And she seemed frustrated. Right. This is an excellent question. It kind of freaked me out. Uh, <laughs> um, I think that, I mean, the feelings that you're talking about, that, that, duality of like I'm right but I'm also sorry I'm right at this point I don't think Donna wants to take over the town like I think I mean even though she is disappointed in some of the ways that Boyd is coping um whether it's conscious or not I I, th I think she recognizes that taking over town and colony is a, like horrendously big job like there's just way too much that's out of control we need to she, she I don't think she's ready to do that and and plus she's breaking down like yeah and I wanted to talk about that breakdown there was a beautiful moment between her and Tabitha where she went to hug Donna and the frozen still and then she collapsed into the hug and she caught herself Will there be a moment where she stops catching herself and allows that feeling to rush through? I hope so. Okay. I hope so. I hope so. I don't know where it goes, but I hope that that happens for her. Okay. okay. Maybe it'll be interesting, but with whom? Who does it come with? Yeah, but it's Ooh. all speculation, like, right? That, like, I don't know when it'll happen. And I don't right. think she needs to, but I hope that for her. Oh, snap. So then kind of going back, you, you know, it was interesting with Fatima. Um, there was a speech that she gave, and it seemed that maybe the, the child fetus, whatever, feeds off of hope. And so I was wondering, do you believe in any of, of the kind of that theory or as a reason as to why it would choose Fatima, if it's not a real actual baby, for for that vessel. Because I, all I can think is that that is the person that it is the most. I think the person that would want the baby was told could not have a baby, like it would be weird if it was Donna or if it was one of the men. It would it would be another it would be interesting with Tabitha having lost a baby, but I think because Fatima, that you know, budding new relationship with Boyd and just the you know starting a family, when she was told she couldn't, like it's the most devastating. Like I think the stakes are the highest. There's no one higher, I don't think, for baby stakes, which doesn't sound very good. Baby stakes. <laughs> Then going off with, with Tilly, we had the death of Tilly, which once again, Donna was right. So mm -hmm. with that, I was wondering, how does she or does she in the upcoming episodes feel that she has to protect her colony, because the colony house? Because boy, you know, it's still wishy-washy. Yeah, she does. I think she does feel that. But I think, I, I also think because of everything that's been put into place with the monsters and, you know, things happening in the daytime and people having visions and that it's like, actually, I love this question. The more I'm talking, the more I'm like, <laughs> yeah, we got, we got to shut down colony. Like in a way we may need to shut down colony house and go, you know, get way more careful, but whether Donna does that or not and effectively or not, will be seen or not seen. Can you kind of say what her mindset is going to be in these final episodes? <sighs> I think it, it it's just over, the word that comes to mind is overwhelmed. Like it, 
there's it's got to be it things have to be just cracking in her head and spinning it's like being in a war in a way like it doesn't look like a war but being under that much stress and strain uh so i think there must be that and then it, yeah being overwhelmed and uh but yet surviving survive while while under under uh siege wow well i do hope that that donna makes it through both mentally physically in the world and she gets out i'm thank praying you. for her nothing happens so thank oh, you so much for speaking so much, to me Dana. oh you're <laughs> welcome my pleasure thank you thank you